Hi, building theoretical foundation is a long-term endeavor. It is not the work by just a few people. Therefore, this award belongs to many pioneers and the colleagues who made the contribution previously, especially those who had the courage to propose theories. This award also belongs to those who provide the positive and the negative evidence to evaluate theories in practice. That is all of us in the VIS community. Like most of us, I started my VIS career by working on practical problems. I was fortunate enough to have worked with many brilliant colleagues and students. Perhaps while they were developing exciting technical solutions, I was puzzled by some silly questions. For example, in volume visualization, transfer functions seem to distort data. Should this be allowed? When I became interested in video visualization, I was more confused. Most information in a video was not displayed. Simply saying that such information was not useful did not convince me. Through video visualization, I learned to design and conduct empirical studies. Besides the evaluation, I was more fascinated by the human's mental ability to interpret visual information. There was, and there still is, so much waiting to be discovered. David Ebert and Tom Ertl introduced me to visual analytics. I noticed that, that in comparison with data, this was cool. In comparison with data mining and later machine learning, this seemed to be a bit uncool. What are these triangular relationships? When we tried enthusiastically to persuade others to use this, for example, using the big words insight, we often receive some rather unenthusiastic reply and doubts. Some domain experts seem to have the impression that we want the visualization to take credit for their insight. What is visualization really for? Likely because I was more confused than others, I became interested in finding informed answers to my silly questions. I was lucky enough to have some wonderful colleagues with whom I could share and discuss these questions. They kept my sanity by working with me and trying to make theoretical progress. This slide shows four major steps in my personal journey. There were many other steps along this path involving many colleagues. It was rewarding to work with large groups of colleagues in the Wells Research Institute of Visual Computing under the RAMP VIS operation. I was deeply moved by many of his colleagues who volunteered their expertise and the time to help combat some huge challenges during the pandemic. In addition to some 250 colleagues and students who worked with me on this part, I would like to thank my two PhD supervisors and the two heads of the department. Prof Townsend showed me how to be a decent academia. Prof Barker taught me to be internationally focused. Prof Tucker encouraged me to work on theoretical problems. Prof Chafathan provided me with the environment to do so. I'm in debt to my later parents especially my mother, who sacrificed so much for me. I'm hugely grateful for the support from my wife and our two children. I know Rona is hoping that the award would mean no more this deadline. Maybe. Thank you all.